2003 was one of my favorite years of the 2000s decade. And one of the reasons was they were making a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Which is why from my first review of 2016, I'm reviewing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 game based on the 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series. Plot. The story takes place in episodes from the first season such as Things Change, A Better Mousetrap, Attack of the Mousers, Meet Casey Jones, Nano, Darkness on the Edge of Town, The Way of Invisibility, Notes from the Underground Parts 1 through 3, and Return to New York Parts 1 through 3, as well as a level that is not derived from the TV show. Gameplay. The player can play as Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, or Michelangelo, and each turtle has its own unique set of levels. There is a story mode that can be played with one or two players, and a versus mode where you could go head-to-head -head with the AI or head-to-head -head with a friend. In the versus mode, you could play as the four turtles, Master Splinter, Casey Jones, the evil turtle bot, Han, Hamato Yoshi, Oroku Saki, and the Shredder. There's also a challenge mode which can be unlockable by defeating a Rakusaki in a story mode with any turtle in order to complete the challenge mode to unlock Hamato Yoshi and his dojo. The, the positive. The graphics in the game are designed perfectly just like the animation in the TV show. The voice acting is spot on and the voice actors voices fits the turtles voices perfectly and the game also has incredible presentation. The negative. The first problem I have with the game is the sound. Each and every time a turtle attacks, they say the same one-liner the last time that they at like the last time that they attacked. And it gets annoying every five minutes. Second problem. There's only a few combos that you can do, which has turned into a simple button mashing game. The other problems I have is that there are also poor level design, dumb AI enemies. Two player instead of four, which I assume when this game was coming out, I thought that you could play this game with only four play with four players. But no, when I got this game for Christmas two months after it came out, I found out that you can only play with two players, and there's no blocking move in this game. Like, how can you have a beat 'em up or a fighting game without no blocking move? Which I don't understand. Bottom line. The 2003 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is decent, but it's a dumb beat-em-up. If you want to play a real beat-em-up game, maybe you should stick to the Simpsons arcade game or maybe the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 game, gets an official Stan Subverted rating of a 7.5 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have yourselves a good night and take care.